Hello everyone, this is Feeds a 32 Bash again. I've got another deck review. <clears throat> and this is the Moon Sign Playing Cards and the Enigma Magic LTD. They did it, if you will. And let's look at it. The front of the box says Moon Sign Playing Cards. You got this Spade Pip, which is. It is what it is. It looks like it's smoky, maybe fading away. I don't know. And you got the circle around it, which. For some reason is incomplete part of the uh, effect I guess and there is like a little notable flaw right here you can see you got a diamond next to a circle you can see there's two things here together a small flaw I guess I should point that out uh, here it says the United States Point Card Company the other side, it says a Thistle Moon Sign Playing Cards, designed by Lloyd Thomas Barnes. The top says Enigma, and it says something about practical magic and highest quality underneath the seal. So I did. And then on the bottom, it's got some trademark stuff. This is made by the SPC. The back, so you the back design of the cards. And evidently, another flaw right here. You can see all the other coins you got like one dot in there and here you have two dots kind of a flaw I don't know what that's all about or how that happened but it did uh, you don't usually see flaws like that and I to think um, PDC magic for pointing out some of these flaws in his review and go check out his channel for sure and of course you got a standard black seal the back designs we'll get into in a minute. Nothing on the flaps. That's that. Inside, we do get two ad cards. Excuse me while I focus. Let's say Enigma. Magic LTD Limited. Powerful Practical Magic. EnigmaLTD.com. That's what it says on the flap. Powerful Practical Magic. Right next to LTD here, between Enigma and LTD, it says Magic. But you can't see that. So I'm not sure why they put it. And you do get another one. Another thing I have to point out is they got question marks here that form the I and the G. Kind of cool. Um, my understanding, the reason why they got two duplicate ad cards going to them is because it's for an effect. What that effect is or how it works, I have no idea. But it, that's what it's for apparently. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Sadly, the cards on these, the faces on these cards are standard. Yeah, same with the court cards. The back design, I'll show you. Looks like this. It's got those question marks in the center again. A lot of nice details. It's got, I don't know if you can see or not, but there is a kind of checkered pattern on the back, so you can't really see it all. And there is a slight one way back to them I can see I got something messed up and that is you can see the lines here on these checkers right here where my finger is you see a line going through there and this one the line I reversed this one the line is actually going through this corner thing so that's how it's a one way back it's very subtle. I like it because it's very subtle. And it's, you know, I mean, you can spot it if you're doing magic. Hopefully. I got cards that are mixed up all over the place, though. But that's where it is. I didn't even notice it at first again. <laughs> Thanks to Phil DC. Uh, PDC Magic Phil for pointing it out. Back design is pretty nice. Uh, quite a bit of details in there, of course. I like, uh, again, how they did that one way back. Uh, we do got some jokers in here. They're not, you know, the most eye-popping jokers, I guess, but they're okay. You got some wine bells, it says Enigma on it, and Joker, and a J in the corners. You do get two of those. Nerys' Spades features the same artwork as on the box, and it says 
Enigma LTD playing cards on the bottom. Why not Moonsign playing cards? I don't know, but whatever. It's kind of cool. And that's what it is. It, I really don't know what's going on there or how it fits with the Moonsign theme, but that's what it is. The other Joker is identical to the first one. No reveals or anything, sadly. And that's what you get. The cards themselves have a nice stock in thinness. Almost feels like it could be an aristocrat stock. Thinness, I believe, is Eric Cusson. Not magic, but I could be wrong. Uh, they don't feel quite like magic. They do feel like aristocrats. They don't quite feel like magic finish. They do handle nice. They look nice. They are standard. And and they may have a gimmick built in of these ad cards if they ever release that. They did say that they will be releasing more in the future and the next one will be more customized. They just did this one fairly standard to you know kind of get their foot in the door and get a deck out there. <laughs> and I got cards all over this. Anyways that's my review. As you can see they handle nice they spring all over the place really good. <laughs> anyway like I said that's my review. Enigma playing cards, you can get them at the moon sign cards, you can get them at enigmaltd.com. Also, the one eyed jack.com has some. So, go check it out. Stay tuned, I've got another review coming your way once I clean up this mess, and I'll see ya.